Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get easy kills shortly after sprinting in Modern Warfare 3. Quickly before we do get into today's video, if you are new around, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications so don't miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up, and make your thoughts on this in the comments below, but let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so for these camos, majority of the shotguns have them, and I'm not too sure if there are any other guns that do have them, but as you can see, if I do come to the shotguns, I've finished my shotguns to forged, um, I'm very close to getting priceless now, which is decent, uh, but yeah, if we do take a look at the gold ones, it's going to get two kills shortly after sprinting in one life, which really seems like a bit of an annoying challenge, but it's very, very simple to do, so I'm going to show you the best way of doing that, and the first thing is our class setup, guys, it's all going to come down to the class setup, and as you'll be able to see from this build, the rear grip is going to increase the sprint to fire speed and the the ads speed the stock is going to increase the sprint to fire speed and all the movement speed the laser is going to increase the movement speed of the gun and the hit recoil control and then the barrel is also going to increase the hit recoil control with the movement speed and all that sort of stuff as well and the main things you want to have on these are the sprint to fire speed attachments and the reason for this is when you're sprinting it means your guns are going to go up straight away get that first shot off and take your opponent out nice and quickly you only need to do two of these in one life and majority of the time it was completely broken i was getting this done within about 10 kills of just playing normally i really Really didn't have to do too much work this was done very very quickly so you probably find they're a little bit bugged and they get done way faster than you're expecting them to but definitely set up your guns to have good sprint to fire speed the next thing you're going to want to do if you're spe especially if you're a controller player you might have this also turned on, on pc but it's come down to your settings and turn automatic tactical sprint or automatic sprint off you just want it on completely off and the reason for this is you're going to end up getting into a lot of gunfights and just generically and naturally you're going to start moving towards your opponent and doing this is actually going to tell the game that you're trying to tactical sprint or sprint so your gun's not actually going to shoot and the amount of times that you are you're going to end up in situations where you're trying to shoot your opponents but the trigger's not working because the gun's trying to make you automatically tactical sprint or automatically sprint it's going to miss you out on so many easy kills that you could have possibly had and so you definitely just want to turn this off like i said if you're on pc or console it doesn't matter make sure this is turned off and it's going to make you win so many more gunfights and just help you out in so many more bad situations and the final thing guys is play hardcore the reason for this is you're going to get one shot kills every kill is going to be a one shot especially if it's like mid range it's going to do a lot more damage it's going to help you win a lot more kills as well so i definitely recommend you play hardcore it's going to make it so much easier you're going to have a lot more kills a lot more kills often getting these two kills in one life shortly after sprinting is going to be done so much faster but that guys is the fastest and the easiest way to get kills shortly after sprinting in modern warfare 3 if the video has helped you smash thumbs up subscribe if you're not already i'll catch you on the next one in a bit Boosh.